One there any discussion regarding No, no, we are, first of all, I wanted to make my people understand what are the points we have raised in the Tiprasa Accord and what is the negotiating hap negotiations happening in Delhi. It is very important that our people know what are the talks which are happening and which are the agenda. So I put it across to my uh, party members, especially at the block and district level. Second thing is, uh, uh, we have also distributed membership forms today, and I have also said that we have to not un uh, we have to understand one thing that agar batoge to katoge. So we want if we divide ourselves today, we'll get nothing. So today was also a talk to all my grassroots workers to understand how we should be working in the build up towards a better tomorrow for our people. Elections will come and go. But our commitment to our people and our community must be uh, paramount. And that is something which I want to uh, ensure to my uh, As you earlier also said, the second round of talks are very close. Very close. Uh, yes. So what can we expect? We expect that, that there will be a full-fledged presentation by the TT ADC to the Home Ministry. We expect uh, the state government to send its two representatives. I, myself, uh, Mr. Rangkhal also will be there. And it should happen by the third, uh, week, by the end of November. We are expected that we will be called for this talk. I've had a word with Mr. Mishra. And he has said that uh, after the 16th or 20th, he will be fixing a date for us to come and discuss this in Delhi. Any timeline for this talks to complete? Uh, See, uh, it depends. If I today say everything is all right, then we will get something. But if we have to uh, ask something which is concrete, if we have to uh, keep uh, persevering, and we have to also see uh, how the state government uh, is looking at a demand. If uh, all three are in harmony, I don't see why we can't have a quick uh, re resolution. But if one side sticks to his demand and does not agree to the other, then uh, there may be some bottlenecks which will take time and maturity to negotiate. Uh, sir, uh, uh, recently the other, you have called for an Thanks, sir. Always it was your thing to call. The uh, IPFT had said that they are waiting for the dates to be declared. After that, they will think about coming together. This is recent CW, their central committee meeting was there. Today, the BJP president had also said that since we are in the alliance, we will try to fight this election together because we have got good result in the parliamentary election. So what is your view on that? My view is that uh, we should all agree that development of the indigenous people and uh, certain issues like land rights, uh, constitutional rights and political and economic rights have to be agreed upon before we can come to any understanding. IPFT and Tipra Motha have no problem because more, of a, more or less our demands, what we have been raising, in memorandum, in writing, in our speeches is almost the same. Regarding BJP, if they are willing to support our demand, I don't see any reason why they should not come. Even Congress, if they are willing to support our demand, why should we object to them also? Our fight is not against any party. Our fight is for the empowerment of our community and we will do that. Recently, an incident about rigging had taken place. Though the government is looking into, uh, how do you see, what is your message? I don't agree with ragging of any sort. But I do believe that if uh, the punishment is very harsh, then it should be reconsidered. Uh, I'll meet the principal, I'll try to find out. I've met the parents of the people whose uh, children have been uh, pulled up for the ragging. And I'll meet the principal and understand what is their side of the story. Whatever it is, uh, uh, I don't think anyone should be uh, punished so harshly either ways so that their careers are destroyed. If people have expressed uh, remorse, and apologized, then penalty should be uh, put across and if the ragging is not so harsh then we have to dis differentiate between uh, ragging where people's, uh, yeah, people are physically hurt uh, when they are mentally targeted or when there is a harmless uh, banter which takes place. So we have to realize that there is a big difference between that. And uh, I will meet the principal and I'll uh, listen to his point of view. I've heard the, the parents' point of view and I'll try to bring some sort of a resolution so that careers are not affected either way. Sir, you have been out of the state meeting the students and other uh, youths of the region. So what is their view about present Tripura uh, and any scope they want to return back, the situation is still in employment and is great. What is their view about? I think people of Tripura uh, who are studying outside realize that uh, their career is better off outside than in Tripura. 
that's the reason people are going and uh, there are a lot of talented boys and girls who are studying very well they are very enterprising but we don't seem to have a, a policy where we can absorb them or give them uh, a career to become entrepreneurs or to build up the skill level uh, and i see a lot of frustration in them i meet them because i it's very important for me to also articulate that what i'm trying to do for them and it's very important for me also to listen to what they are trying to uh, what they are thinking is what is in their heart so i think uh, if we can meet uh, our youngsters halfway we will only do service to our country and to our state they are the future of our state and if they feel frustrated and if they feel that they are not being heard then we are doing injustice to our next generation so that's the reason i go out and meet them and i engage with them i also learn something they also learn something from me and that way we all actually uh, increase each other's knowledge and the last question sir when you say we have to keep patience to get the fruits particularly these talks hang on one of your mla uh, recent <laughs> we have seen he have raised question about the number of seats that the promoter has diverted from his own demand uh, that is the greater tripuran and that uh, you have made wait for bjp to win this election on uh, particularly chitranjan the verma had raised uh, regarding his statement uh, i think uh, i'll deal with him uh, at a different level not through the media uh, and uh, as today you can ask any of my people i have not given up my demand for greater tripuran and uh, i think there are processes in the party and uh, if someone has made a statement like this i'm not aware that he has made a statement if he has then uh, we will talk to him and we'll probably bring it to his knowledge that we have not given up a demand for greater tripuran or article 2 and 3 it is very clear and even today i have articulated that to him and uh, made way for bjp no you can't make way for bjp bjp did not come to power in delhi because of tipra motha bjp came to power in delhi because the opposition could not defeat the bjp in uttar pradesh could not defeat them in delhi could not defeat them in madhya pradesh in gujarat uh, they got lot of seats in assam it is not because of tipra motha that bjp is in power in center and uh, that mla himself understands that we have to talk to all the party whichever is in center because our demand is can be only fulfilled by the central party if tomorrow congress is in power i'll talk to them so my point is it is tipra motha cannot bring congress to power and tipra motha cannot claim to take the credit of bringing bjp to power in delhi and we have to talk to whoever is in power in delhi to get a constitution